get swept like this, how much time do you need to decompress and appreciate the run that this team has had? Uh, you know, obviously a little while, just in the fashion that it happened then, just getting swept is, is you know, losing on your home floor and, um, you know, going home for the summer is not, um, you know, something that's ideal. So it'll take a little while to, um, you know, get over that. And, uh, you know, got to tip your hat to them, you know, to the Warriors. They play great basketball. Kevin, pertinent to tonight, third quarter, once again, a, a, a difficult quarter for the team. What were the troubles tonight to you guys? I've been an Achilles heel the whole year. Yeah. Um, and they have been great um, in that third quarter. So just, they just showed a lot of effort, a lot of, uh, a lot of grit, especially in that third quarter. Uh, mucked up the game quite a bit and uh, just hitting from, from all over the court. So um, it was a tough third quarter for us. Given the uncertainty of LeBron staying or going, how does that sit with you, a guy who's played with him for these past four years? Well, I mean, maybe something where you know, I'm sure he'll um, spend some time with his family, and when that time comes to make a decision, he'll be, he'll be in a good uh, frame of mind. So, um, you know, obviously, would love to play with LeBron uh, the rest of my career, but that's going to be a, a choice that he makes. And um, let's see. Any other questions? Look, Kevin, do you? Do you have a grasp on what you think matters most to LeBron when it comes to that decision? No, I don't. All right, thanks everybody. Kevin, well, Kevin, has it hit you at all? I mean, obviously, who knows and we'll talk to you again, but has it hit you at all that it's possible this could be your last game with the Cavs? I don't think it's possible. People have been saying that for four years, so uh, I knew that question was going to come, but I don't know. I'd like to be here. I've always said that. Always wanted to win here.